I personally believe that every movie in the world can be placed on this spectrum where one end represents the escape from life and other end represents the mirror of life and then there's the balance which is a rarity to achieve in short a movie is either trying to entertain or it is trying to tell a story and more often than not a movie consists of both the element in different compositions for the boys the entertainment value might just supersede the realities of life it bring to the screen but nevertheless it does a really good job of balancing the scale hello everyone welcome to cine conscious a place where we exercise perception in an attempt to bridge the gap between cinema and real life today we will be looking at the depiction of american god complex in prime original series the boys marvel and dc movies have been an ideal treat for the audience that's seeking a full blown escape from reality and wants to get lost in those fantasy world created far away from the issues of real life and one of the comforting escape of those superhero movie is the child friendly content and their endings those signature wrapped in a bow happy endings i mean superheroes are there to save the day right well i'm not here to deny that this statement is actually quite right for superhero movies i mean they are indeed about those superheroes people with those superpowers wherein the boys is about the idea of superpowers how they are perceived by most of the people and how some of the people end up seeing through the facade of branding those superheroes as the ultimate saviors these people are called the boys coming back to the facade of branding the superheroes or supes as they are called in the pop culture of the boys microcosm this is where the shit gets real the show does a really good job of taking a dig at media branding capitalism military culture gun culture hollywood hypocrisy and most importantly the qualities people admire from an external perspective america as a nation is perceived as the world leader well at least on a superficial level but on a realistic and grounded level america is just another country with comparatively stronger economy but with its own set of issues and homelander's character is an embodiment of exactly that someone who is both powerful and has his own set of issues and realization that he can get away with anything might be the stepping stones of moving towards the god complex but someone who is helping in creation of international terrorists might just know that already though getting away with him is addressed through other story lines as well but Anthony Starr's performance complements the writing perfectly and make Homelander's narrative land on point. The show constantly mocks the idea of power via Homelander's narrative who despite being strongest of all is the most fragile one. Someone with issues traceable to his upbringing that ended up with unattended childhood trauma. And writers have done a good job of making a point about how many ways power can be perverted commercially, politically and personally. And most importantly personally. how preferences and aversions from personal life can influence how you put those superpowers to use and hence the tagline of the show never meet your heroes if any represents the minority of naive cum good hearted people of the world then this guy represents the people with narcissistic entitlement the real inspiration for this video essay is this character and type of people he represents people who cherish the abuse of power and make judgments about what someone deserves on the basis of what community they belong to or what cause they support 
people who are living their escape in the realities of life cheering for people who does horrible things that they themselves are incapable of doing god complex is not just about being narcissistic and exercising absolute power it's also about the blind validation of that power that being said the boys as a series might be ahead on curve and simply because of its underlying commentary about the people we admire how they are made up of flesh blood and decisions they take and for boys flesh and blood might be where the line is drawn between humans and soups but the decisions they take and insecurities they are made up of make them more humans than apes and that's the core message of this series every person you have admired in your life might be a human with shit load of flaws and a handful of qualities thanks for watching guys in case you liked the content or the intent of this video essay please do feed the algorithm like share and subscribe see you next time until then jay shri krishna